Hello. <laughs> this is our mural at AQ. <laughs> and I believe this is us in a very different form that you might have seen. So today Daryl is the lion and I'm the scuba diver. <laughs> they are over there. Okay, so since we are here, uh, we'll just give a very quick introduction of the whole mural and just uh, do a little tour since we never really got a chance to do that. Okay, so uh, starting on this side, so if you can have a look at the whole thing, what we found out is that, or what we've always realized is that this part has always resembled that of a fish tank. You know, the way you see glass, you see the way you see um, everything kind of just self-contained. So this was uh, what inspired us to turn this section into the ocean, how we can kind of uh, capture the different types of animals that have been spotted in, off Singapore's shores. And you, you'll find things that may be a bit more expected, like puning, or some things that are a little bit more rare, like the whale shark or even the sperm whale. So... Haven't had the chance to dive in Singapore yet. Hopefully there will be an opportunity in the future. Then um, from the fish tank, we go towards uh, the Victoria building. So this is a former structure that used to stand at the junction of Victoria Street. And uh, this is a tailor that was mentioned previously that is also sited around the area. There used to be a lot of these traditional crafts around this, uh, the town area before they start to move out during the 90s and 80s. And this is an Imaginarium uh, mascot for the 2018 Imaginarium into the space of time. And we also have a jungle fowl above and some structure that used to be around here. So something that you notice is that you'll see the pillars. So these are actually what, uh, you know, if you actually look past the doors, you'll be spotting them. You'll see the actual versions. Let's see if we can peek inside. Is it there? Hmm. So this is the former Cat High School. The gate post uh, uh, marks the entrance to the school. And uh, then you might have seen this before already, the cyclists. And this is a forest area where it will be Daryl's uh, favorite part again. Okay, so, so once again, this area explores that of, uh, kind of nature just charging into the city. So we've got lots of different details. So as you can see, um, <laughs> the line over here. And also within it, you, you'll find many different um, Perhaps some, some more familiar animals are the radius spider, which has uh, been found in many of our different uh, water bodies right now. It was spot a while singly over here. Uh, <laughs> you also kind of notice that, um, you know, some other small details, perhaps the, you get references like the lion and the mouse. You get a whole gang of uh, owls all the way up there. You will also uh, find yourself... Let me see what else. Uh, There's a reference to uh, one of the local artist's work. Spot the rabbit next to the guitar player. Uh, then uh, and over we, here, standing upon the Coney Island, how we've got uh, reference, reference to the musicians of Bremen. So this is a tale about uh, you know different animals who, who kind of just uh, travel all along and then started their own little traveling band. And we, but this is a uniquely Singaporean version of it, based by uh, what you'll find locally. And if we kind of uh, move on a little bit. So there used to be Wayang uh, stages set up along Queen Street when uh, there are actually shrines and temples around here. Uh, such practices are more rare nowadays. They are set up at open fields. At the back of it, uh, if you can see from the, under the glaring sunlight, is the Tiger Balm building at Princess Street, which has been demolished only recently. And uh, more here is the junction at Bencoolen, uh, Bencoolen Street with uh, Ras Basa Road. Green Spot bus used to be, the HQ used to be around Queen Street as well. And you can see all these pigeons are uh, reference to the notorious pigeons around uh, the Guan Yin Temple. And if you notice, uh, the pigeons are also a little bit oversized. So if I draw your attention to all the different birds all the way up there, it's got a whole flock of them, so comprising uh, various species. You get some extremely rare visitors, you get some that you might be spotting uh, very often. And if you also notice, we've got a uh, somewhat uh, ambitious flying pig all the way up there. <laughs> so amongst this whole group, um, we spot some native species as well as others that are like, again uh, have only been spotted more recently in, in Singapore in the, Sing in the region of Singapore that have uh, traveled from different places and perhaps some of them may, may have been uh, released or escaped from the pet trade and if we kind of move on to the coffee shop right now so the coffee shop is one of the many traditional coffee shops that used to be around uh, Queen Street area so even now uh, where this area which actually covers a uh, present day Bugis market there used to be coffee shops uh, at the ground floor and even a Japanese restaurant. Uh, the complex consists of uh, hotels and even uh, 
some Chinese clan and commerce, commerce uh, society. Uh, and of course, we cannot forget about the iconic like uh, the flower vendors around the uh, Guanyin Temple. If you can see at the back of the building, there's this tower-like structure. That's the Empress Hotel. It's, uh, it's where the current National Library is right now. And uh, you can even see this blue sign that says Restricted Zone. So before the ERP, there's actually such a zone in the civic district called Restricted Zone where you have to buy a physical paper coupon to place on your car front. And once again, we are reached at the other side of the gate post where Daryl will explain more about all these uh, exhibits. So in this case, so, uh, well, something that we're doing in our mural is really capturing um, man and nature and how it kind of overlaps, how it interacts with each other. And you know, as we kind of examine the, the flower cellar where you know, people are almost capturing parts of nature to bring into their place, into their house, we also witness uh, different instances of that. So you've got different pets that uh, have been collected over here. We've got uh, some of the native species of fish that you find. You know, and, and Singapore, it's, uh, of, of note, is one of the, the largest exporters of ornamental fish. And uh, they also did play a huge part in my childhood, so something that really had to feature. And if we kind of move a little bit to the left over here, we've got uh, you know, a whole collection of uh, a collection of biodiversity. So capturing the, the unique uh, species that we find all around Singapore and uh, both in its preserved form. So um, you know, I guess m much of what we learn is also from, from the assessments, but we also do want to kind of uh, celebrate the, the significance of uh, what they what they found us, but also kind of celebrating their, their beauty as you witness them over here. And uh, mm. you spot some kind of um, more familiar faces like the pangolin. You've got the atlas moth. You've got uh, even stuff that you might be uh, partaking in for dinner, like the flower crab and your uh, crayfish. And if we move all the way down in this corner, you also notice uh, some more unique species that we have, like the tr uh, trilobite beetle, which is quite unique because it stays in lava form uh, throughout its life and almost resembles something that's super prehistoric. Then at the back is uh, another iconic structure that used to be along Queen Street, which is the Central Sheik Temple. Uh, before it was, uh, it moved um, to a thing around uh, Serangoon Road. And uh, some some references to the present day, this, uh, is, uh, this iconic delivery driver with a mask, because we are staying still in pandemic times. And uh, a little shout out for our favorite cafe while we are still at the studio here, <laughs> uh, the Luef Loft, Loft <laughs> Cafe. Whoops. <laughs> and so, if we look up to the building over here, that's where um, that, that's a, a very important building in our collaboration because it's just right down the road and it's a place that we shared a studio for yeah slightly over a year at the same time. So you know, lots of the uh, conversations about how we can put this mural together, how uh, we can work together, how we can come up with all the different ideas and stories. And so this mural is almost a, a culmination of that uh, time that we worked together. And also, uh, what's quite unique is that we actually didn't get a chance to work on this mural while uh, we were physically located here. So, uh, <laughs> of course, things are always a bit more funny in a way. Okay. And then, anything like that? I think that's it. Wow. Wow. So, yeah, this is together. us. Maybe one With our new row. And then maybe if we end at Arming over here. So, you know, Arming is really a representation of really man and nature coming together. Or how, the way Arming is uh, kind of uh, yeah, enjoying tea, a, a cup of tea with all our fellow uh, countrymen. And I, I think that's something I really want to examine during, with this mural. How we can really coexist with nature. How, you know, we're, we're taking more space as uh, we find more man and nature interactions. But at the same time, we hope it will be Okay, yeah, okay, that's... that's it. Hope you enjoyed the little uh, guided tour of the mural. So, see you next time, and hopefully, we have an opportunity to work on such a mural again. Bye bye. bye.